Welcome to GarageGymPro.com. Our website and YouTube channel discuss everything you need to know about garage gym equipment and fitness at home. From building a home gym to staying on top of your fitness goals, you will find the most informative home gym content to help you purchase with confidence. You might be wondering, what's the difference between a manual and electric treadmill? In this video, we compare them and break down the key differences to help you decide which one is best for losing weight and burning calories. The truth is, they both can help improve your fitness level, but they work in slightly different ways to achieve these results. Let us help you decide if you should buy a manual or electric treadmill. Manual treadmills are a great option for use in a home or commercial gym. It can be placed almost anywhere you have space because they don't need to be plugged into a power source to work. Manual treadmills are typically cheaper than motorized models, but this isn't always the case. If you want a high-end manual model, you can expect to pay quite a lot. Another great thing about manual treadmills is that they are completely user-controlled, allowing you to start, stop, speed up, or slow down whenever you want. This makes it easy to fine-tune your workout and train as hard or as easy as you like. While manual treadmills are fantastic for home use, they do come with a few downsides. First, these types of treadmills don't normally come with large or high-tech screens. You might be able to find models with small screens, but they only show very basic stats. Another con here is that you won't find any preset workout programs on manual treadmills. This might not be a problem for some, but cardio newbies may want a little more guidance. Another important thing to note is that most manual treadmills don't come with any incline options. You won't be able to simulate an uphill running experience, which is known to burn more calories. Now, let's jump into electric treadmills. This type of gym machine was made for people who want a more high-tech running experience. With these models, you'll get to choose from a number of preset and interactive workout programs to help you reach your goals. On motorized treadmills, you also have the option to set an incline. This will help you burn more calories and train harder. Another great thing about electric treadmills is that each setting is more precise than on manual treadmills. For example, if you set the speed at 6 miles per hour, you can be sure you will be running at that speed until you get off the treadmill. Which leads me to my next point. Electric treadmills do not stop until the user pushes the stop button or gets off the machine. This may help you push harder and train longer because on manual models, as the user gets tired, the belt slows down. While electric treadmills are a great addition to home gyms, they do have some drawbacks. First, they need to be plugged into an outlet to operate. This might not be a problem for you if your home gym space has accessible power, but what if it doesn't? Some garages or outdoor power gyms won't have a power outlet which would make the treadmill unusable. One of the most important things to note is that electric treadmills are much more dangerous than manual models. If you trip while running, you'll get carried away with the treadmill belt. This makes it more difficult for children, seniors, or people recovering from an injury to work out. One last point to keep in mind is that electric treadmills are normally more expensive than manual treadmills. So if you're on a super tight budget, then you may already have your answer. Now that you know the pros and cons of manual and electric treadmills, which one should you choose? We created a quick reference table to help you decide which one is best for you and your fitness goals. In summary, if you have the space and budget and you're looking for a high-tech cardio session to burn calories, then an electric treadmill is your best bet. Electric models will be the best option for most people. I would only recommend manual treadmills for people who want a more realistic and simple running solution or for folks who only have a very small budget to work with. There you have it, our breakdown of the key differences between manual and electric treadmills. I hope this video helped explain the basics of these two types of machines and helped you decide which one you should get. Remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out the information in the description box below. This includes a link to our most up-to-date article on garagegympro.com, where we break down several more types of home gym machines.